Good morning. How are you doing today, Steve? Good morning. How are you? And you say your name Arrow? Arrow as in bow and arrow. Yep. It's a weird radio <laughs> thing. <laughs> Good. Yeah, thank you for having me. Appreciate well, it. Dude, I want to know more about, about the foundation because I'm all about outreach. I'm all about educating listeners on how they can really put Good. themselves more into the community. Thank you so much, Errol, for asking. Hey, I wanted to let you know some as an aside. Um, my nephew is in Charlotte <gasps> right now. He is a member of the the, the Boston Red Sox AAA team. Wow. And he uh, is playing there, uh, the, the Woo Sox, they call them. Um, and you're going to see him up in the big leagues, I think, pretty soon. His name is Nick Sogard. And he's a really great player. He's leading his team in home runs, batting average, RBIs. Uh, he's a really good player. He's in there, Charlotte, playing right now. So oh, my let, God. Let you know oh, that. my God. Well, yeah. he's, in, he's in a great place for baseball because that, the, the stadium uptown is just unbelievable. That's what he said. Yeah, we talked to him last night. My sister's there. That's her, his mom. And uh, he's a good player. So you'll be seeing him up there anyway. Anyway, talk to you about the foundation. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we're coming up on the two-year anniversary of my son's passing. Uh, and so my family uh, has created what, we, uh, what is called the Captain John J. Sachs Family Foundation. People who want to know about John, they can go to johnnyourhero.org, johnnyourhero.org, and they can read about John uh, through his uh, Family Foundation website. Um, and what my friends and I have done who have a company called Babe and the Kids LLC is, is we are going to be donating uh, a portion, a good portion of our proceeds this year to help fund my son's foundation, which the mission of the foundation is to help aspiring aviators accomplish their goals and dreams of becoming the best flyer possible. That's wow. what my son loved. That's what he was passionate about. And that's what we're going to be donating our pro- uh, proceeds to. Now, the proceeds I'm talking about and the babe and the kids, or what this is, it's an NFT, it's a non-fungible token um, that is derived from a painting that was painted from a snapshot, 1922, of Babe Ruth amongst the sea of kids. You might have seen this, mm-hmm. this famous iconic photo of Babe Ruth amongst this, you know, hundreds of children, and he's right in the center of them with this big smile on his face. <laughs> Opie Otterstad painted that photo on this mural that, that, that is behind me in my desk. Uh, this four foot by six foot photo and the color and, and vibrancy of this of this painting is amazing but he did a couple of, he did a couple of things as he he painted it so it's really really much more visible than the original than the original snapshot and he also changed out the faces of all those kids in the photo fo- in the photo and he replaced them with current Hall of Famers faces when they were little boys oh. so you can go through here and see you can see, uh, you know, Dave Winfield and Willie Mays and Babe Ruth and all these kids when they were just little boys. Um, and so what, what our guys have done is we've digitized this famous uh, painting. And so you're able to put this painting on your Apple Watch or wow. at, at the biggest score, scoreboard that you can imagine. And it looks exactly like the painting. OK, the second thing we've done is to bring up to life these faces of, uh, that are anonymous to anybody that's walking by, you're able to hover over the face, the name comes up, then you double click the name and a three minute video comes up no. thanks to the major league baseball footage of him playing in the big in the big leagues. Oh my God. Um, so that's the interactivity you get. Let's say that you're, for example, uh, at Yankee Stadium and the Yankees are, or the Dodger Stadium who are, who've already purchased one of these and they've have it in a big mural you're able to have hundreds of people at the same time click a QR code in the upper right-hand corner and and work this interactivity through their Apple phone or their iPad, and all at the same time they're able to interact with this, uh, you know, in this nature. So it's an amazing uh, it's an amazing project. There's only there's only one of these, but we are minting 200 of them. Wow! So if people want to get involved with this, and there's still 45 or 50 that we've held back for the public. Because we got teams that are getting them, players that are buying them. Go to babeandthekids.com and click on that and 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 uh, put your name on the wait list and we'll get a hold of you. Because we're going to be minting in about 10 days to two weeks. So wow. if they want to go and get one of these, they're still available. They're not cheap, but you know they're, they're amazing. There's only going to be 200. But you know how baseball card collectors are, Steve. We want this stuff. We want this oh. to be in our collection. Exactly. Exactly. And I can't imagine um, a baseball museum, a bank building, mm. um, 
a stadium that wouldn't have one of these while they can get them. Because uh, they're going to trade in the secondary market, too, for a lot higher price than yep. what we're charging. We're charging $15,000, but they're going to trade a lot higher in the secondary market, we believe. So uh, there's there's definitely you know a, a utility to this, too, because the 200 people that get these, we're all going to be a team, and we're all going to be involved in the – the, the direction of my son's foundation oh. every single year hereafter. We're going to have events at the stadiums and everybody that gets one of these is invited to come. So yeah. we're going to be our own community. I'm glad that you're putting light on on the flyers and those that pilot these jets. And the reason why is because yeah. we all know that Tom Cruise was, okay, we get that. But here's the thing, though. We don't know the real heroes behind those wheels when they're up there in the, in the air. And I wish we would talk about them more and more every day. Yeah, and the complexity to fly one of these. I mean, my son was a really intelligent young man, but more than that, that tells the story of what he was as a pilot, is he was a dogged competitor. Wow. My son, if you were tied with him on the smarts and all that, and he was he was a lot smarter than me, but if you had to get in the ring with him as far as competitive nature, you, may, you might as well just bring your lunch and dinner for a few <laughs> days, because you're gonna be there a long time. And that's why he was such a good Marine, is he, he loved it. He lived it, and he was passionate about what he did. And if he were here today, he would be in that Osprey this morning, flying it again. Mm. No question about it, protecting the country. That's what he was about. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm one of those people that's addicted to their VR goggles. Will, with, with an NFT, can we place it somewhere in that VR goggle, and I can walk through that crowd of people? Because I would that's, love that, dude. That, you know what? We're we're going to have different versions in the years to come and ideas that we have in the mix right now. That would be a great thing to do. Oh my but god. We're not we're not that complex yet, but the interactivity with this thing is incredible. To sit there on your iPhone, on your iPad or if you have it in a monitor your own and see this interactivity it's it's like state of the art stuff, and uh, it's phenomenal. It really is. I love it. What's the website? One more time, because I want listeners to go there and I want them to experience Thank this. You. Thank you. They can go to Babe and the Kids, Babe and the Kids dot com, and get on there and put your name on the wait list after you check it out, and uh, we'll be in touch. Please come back to this show anytime. In fact, let's go watch a baseball game here at, at Knights Castle. I heard it's great. Thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you for having me. You'd be brilliant today, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. You as well. Thanks, Errol.